Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to replace the belts on the Bissell Pro Heat Revolution Pet Pro model. So it's actually slightly different than one of the other the other Revolution models. So I'm going to walk through how to do that on this machine so that um, any of you that are looking for how to do that can be helped out. All right, so if your brushes are not turning, you most likely have a broken belt. So you can start by lifting up right here under this little purple latch here. You just lift straight up and it pops loose. All right, so once you've got your machine laid back in the back position, if you get a flat screwdriver, you're gonna see there's a belt access panel. So there's a little clip right here. If you stick your screwdriver in there and just kind of pry it out like that, that'll release this clip. And then there's one more um usually you just have to kind of pull it up and there's a clip here it's kind of hard to get because of this ridge right here it's kind of hard to get the screwdriver and to actually pry that up so next thing you're going to do is we're going to just press these two buttons here and then the nozzle the whole nozzle lifts up like that all right and from there you've got just one screw on this side to take out just like that all right now, once you, once you take that screw out, you can lift up this, this uh, bearing holder, and then you can get access to this belt here. And then there's one more belt that is connecting these two. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the machine. So there's one more belt here that is connecting these two brushes. Now, in my experience, it's been very rare that this belt ever breaks because this one just connects the two. Um, but if you do pull these out, I'll go ahead and show you how to put it all back together. Um, one thing you're gonna notice is you're gonna see these little stainless steel, steel washers. So you sh there should be four of them. So you wanna hang on to those. And if you wanted to take this off, uh, this assembly here can come off as well by removing this screw and then you could take this whole assembly off and clean it if you wanted to but you can also clean it in place. So if you're replacing the stretch belt, assuming that you're it's broken, it could also be stretched out and then just slipping. So you can, uh, you're gonna have to feed that belt on from the side here. It's gotta slide over this gear pulley. And as you slide it over, just kind of work it inside like that. Okay, then you need to get it onto the red pulley, which is right there. That little red pulley, it's a crowned pulley. So get your belt over that right there and then just stretch it in place over the shaft and then just kind of give it a, a few turns and it will center itself when the machine turns on it will center itself on that pulley all right so make sure that as you're installing the brushes that you slide on the little stainless steel washers and go ahead and get your belt the short belt slid on there around both shafts and then you can slide on your two brush rolls like that and then from there you want to just go ahead and work this belt around the two brush rolls so just like get them aligned like that. All right, so this is a little bit of a tricky part, but you do have to make sure you've got to let that the shafts, um, make sure those shafts are lining up here and then push, and then as you're pushing it down, just make sure that belt stays in place right there. And then if you turn one, the other one will turn, okay? From there, we're gonna, we can leave it on its side because it's probably easier that way these won't slide out or anything like that. So go ahead and leave it on its side. And then I'm gonna put in your two stainless steel washers over on this end. Then you're gonna take the longer geared belt and you can stick it around the motor pulley and then you can stick it around your brush like that. Okay, now it's this cover piece that actually keeps the belt under tension. So first you can slide it right down and over this screw post and then you're going to want to kind of pull this belt 
you're going to want to pull this brush roll out and put some tension on it as you are um, trying to line it up with the with the shaft it's kind of hard to see because it covers so there's this little hole and you have to look down in there to see you'll see this silver shiny part part there and that's how you can kind of see that that you lined it up all right and then with this one just do the same thing just line it up and once you look down through these holes you'll see that and then you can spin it and you should see everything spinning freely you can even spin the the rubber belt you should every everything should be turning freely all right now we're going to take it and put it back uh we're going to take our screw and put the screw back in and then you can lay it back on its side and then we're going to reinstall this nozzle these parts here will slide directly down from the top and then just push firm until you see these green clips um, lock lock this in okay and then you can uh, reinstall this cover piece just one thing to look for is this little plastic section is going to slide down right into this groove here so you do that and you got it in place and it pops in just like that all right so i hope this was helpful and uh, let me show you how to put this this nozzle piece on just in case anybody's wondering um, you have three little uh, fingers sticking out here and you're going to kind of roll that in place and then pop it in the top all right Hope this is helpful. Let me know in the comments what you think. Have a great day.